Hey everyone, it's Unique. Welcome back to my channel. And the easiest way to get glowing skin is to really get the gunk out of your pores and focus on hydration. So today I'm going to be walking you through a step-by-step -step routine that is going to get you glowing skin. Now this routine is going to be fungal acne safe and filled with great ingredients. That should be very accessible for all of us. So if this sounds like a routine that is right up your alley, keep on watching. The number one question I always get is how do I get my skin to look so glowy after I finish my skincare routine? And so today I am going to answer that question just for you. Now today's video is sponsored by April Skin, which is a Korean skincare brand. So for all of my subscribers who have been asking for a Korean skincare review, here it is. The first step to getting glowing skin is to get rid of all of the gunk but you wanna make sure that you're not stripping your skin while you're getting rid of any oil, leftover makeup, sebum, dirt, dead skin cells. So the key is to cleanse your skin without stripping it, and this is going to be step one. I'm going to be using the Real Calendula Low pH Foam Cleanser by April Skin, and this cleanser is revolutionary. I remember when my son was a baby, when I first had him, he had some skin issues like eczema, and really dry patches of skin. And one of the things that the dermatologist told me to use on his skin was Calendula Cream. Calendula made such a difference in my son's skin as a baby that I was really excited to use this as step one in my skincare routine. And you know, sometimes these skincare products will tell you that it has a special ingredient like, I don't wanna be messy, mm -hmm. a strawberry or an ancient melon. And this ancient melon is going to age your skin backwards and hydrate your skin a thousand times over. And when you look at the ingredients list, it's like the second to last ingredient in the ingredients list. This is not this, okay? And April Skincare said, you want Calendula, I'm gonna give you Calendula, okay? And in fact, in this cleanser, Calendula extract is the second ingredient in the list, only preceded by water. So that should tell you that the concentration of Calendula in this cleanser will actually make a difference in your skin. And the Calendula is sourced in a way where it is not harmful, you don't have to worry about pesticides in your skincare. Now, I paired this with their pore cleansing brushed and the bristles on that brush are very soft so you don't have to worry about it like tearing up your skin it is so soft and so gentle and the silicone head on the back really helped get into that t-zone area where i see a little bit more oil than the rest of my face and especially like right by your nose where makeup tends to hide Mm -hmm. So that brush really helped clean out those areas a lot and get all of that gunk out of our pores because like we said, step one to glowing skin is to really get your face clean without stripping it. After rinsing off my cleanser, I'm going to pat my skin with a microfiber cloth and I'm not going to pat it completely dry, I'm going to leave it slightly damp and then I'm going to be using the Artemisia Rice Essence Toner. Now this toner is a mildly acidic toner, but it is really a hydrating toner. So all that means is it's more on that essence side and that is going to boost the hydration in your skin, which is key if you're trying to get your glow. Okay, if you wanna glow, girl, you need to be hydrated from within. And that is exactly what this toner does. The Artemisia extract is great for hydration. So is the rice extract. And this toner contains four different types of hyaluronic acid at different molecular weights to really give our skin the best chance of pulling in as much moisture as possible into our skin and then holding it there. Having that hyaluronic acid at different molecular, molecular weights means that that hyaluronic acid can go deeper and travel farther into the layers of our skin and not just sit on top of it. This toner is going to make sure that, girl, you are moisturized, you are hydrated, and you are glowing. <laughs> I just apply this toner to a microfiber round and then swipe that across my face. You can also pour this into your hand and pat it into your skin if that works better for you. And then you know me, because I stand for hyaluronic acid, I'm going to add my hyaluronic acid serum on top of it. Just, you know, because I have dry skin, okay? I have naturally dry skin and my skin can handle all of that extra moisture. If you have oily skin, you don't need the extra hyaluronic acid. The toner essence alone is going to be great enough for you. I'm just being extra 
and I said the girls wanted a glow I'm going to give that to them so that's why I add my hyaluronic acid serum on top of this really just to give my skin the extra boost of hydration and carry my next serum further into my skin now this next serum is also by April Skin. It is their Calendula 10% PHA and AHA resurfacing serum. Now, like I said earlier, the two keys to achieving glowing skin is a mild exfoliant, right? Because you want to refine those pores and then also hydrate. Not just moisturize, hydrate. It's different. It's levels to this. Okay, so with this serum, it's going to do a wonderful job at gently exfoliating your skin, especially with those PHAs because the molecules are bigger. So it's not going too deeply into your skin like an AHA can. Most people, if you have sensitive skin, PHAs are a great way for you to exfoliate without that irritation that sometimes we can get using AHAs or BHAs or a physical exfoliant. PHA is gonna be great for you because it is a gentle means to refining those pores and getting all that gunk out of the pore without coming up with extra irritation that we did not call for. And then of course, it also has that Calendula flower extract, which is going to calm your skin. It's going to hydrate your skin and it's just gonna leave your skin so glowy and so supple. On top of that, I'm gonna add my moisturizer because you know I love a quick routine. I am not a girl who has 15 different steps in her routine, that's just not me. For my moisturizer, I'm going to be using the Dermalogica Clear Start Skin Soothing Hydrating Lotion. This is perfect for really locking in all of those great ingredients that we just put in and also boosting that glow that we're trying to achieve, right? And so we're able to really achieve that glowing, natural, lit from within look in our skin without a bunch of steps or applying 15 different products. And this moisturizer is great even if you have oilier skin because it is so lightweight, but because of all of the hyaluronic acid and calendula flower and the rice extract that we put on before, for us dry skin girls, be included. This just is going to lock and seal everything else in and really give you that glow. Hmm. Makeup optional, okay? We want people to see this skin. I have makeup on now, but you know what I mean. <laughs> and because we did use actives, our PHAs, AHAs, and BHAs in our resurfacing serum, you want to make sure that you're using a sunscreen on top of your moisturizer to protect you from the sun because those exfoliating acids will make your skin a little more sensitive to the sun. And if you're dealing with hyperpigmentation, you want to make sure that you're wearing your sunscreen. Okay, I don't wanna see y'all without sunscreen. And if you're looking for sunscreen options, don't worry, girl, I got you. Go ahead and click this video to watch some of the best sunscreens that won't leave you gray or ashy right here. And I will see you all in the next one.